Liberty moves to 3-0 on the year. 42-41 win over Indiana State with Matt Camary. I'm Alan York, and what do you say about this ball game, Matt? We saw a little bit of everything, including, oh, by the way, a blocked field goal to secure it for Liberty <laughs> by Corbin Jackson. CJ, nice player there by the end, but, I mean, total team effort from top to bottom. It was. I mean, we saw this team battle the entire game offensively, defensively, you know, sort of came out to a slowish start, picked it up as the game went on. But these guys fought to the very end, and we're definitely not any strangers to block field goals. <laughs> no. uh, it was great to see another one when the game came down to the wire. But uh, just these guys are just believing in each other, have each other's backs. It's just really encouraging to see as we head into a tough Jacksonville State game next week. You're speaking of block field goals, this one tonight, 23 yards. The one, oh, by the way, at Coastal three years ago, the block field goal from 24 yards away. So <laughs> eerily similar what we saw within the last uh, three years tonight and uh, again three years ago down at Coastal. But what a way this game ended. You know, fourth and four with a minute left. Liberty thinks it's getting the football back. Timeout was called. You got to go back out there. Indiana State converts. They get down to the six yard line. A team that has to be mentally tough. We've seen that from Liberty so far this year. Absolutely. You know, that win at Baylor, the win with Moorhead State last yep. week, and you know, come into a game this week, and you know, everyone sort of questions, you know, where Liberty is, especially after beating Baylor. We, we talk every week about the next test for this team. This was probably, you know, Baylor was definitely a test and we came out victorious. Last week was 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 a home game and we got to field a home environment for one. Yep. This was the first true test in my opinion mm -hmm. though, because we know that Indiana State comes from a tough conference. They're battle tested. They played uh, Eastern Illinois and then they played Tennessee. Tennessee last week. So they were gonna come in here and they weren't gonna be afraid of this crowd. So we knew they had, and we knew that they had some good, good defensive linemen, uh, good linebackers. We knew that they could compete well today. I think it sort of caught a lot of people off, uh, off guard, <laughs> I think from watching and listening, but the team, never lost sight of what the end goal was and that was a W no matter what and we saw that as the game wore on especially with that situation with the timeout the fourth down defense had to come off the field come back on yeah. and they were ready to go eerily similar stats two plays separate the two teams 75 plays run for liberty 73 for indiana state and 43 yards difference between the two 543 for indiana state 500 for liberty the reason i bring that up matt and besides the block field goal Liberty wins by one. What else do you think was the tipping point in this game that helped Liberty pull this game out? You know, I don't know if there was one actual play. Uh, you can't. Play. Really you can't, you can't. It was you can't. split right it's, down it's, the middle. It is split right down the middle. Um, you know, I think when we scored off of that uh, block, off of that muff punt early, yeah, early, we were able to get a points off turnovers. But we saw that they uh, forced us into a turnover. Buckshot Coward threw his first interception. But overall, had a great game throwing for 379 and four touchdowns. Uh, can't beat that. Uh, he's still continuing to play lights out, went over 1,000 yards, and has finally played. I think he's got uh, maybe nine quarters in the book, ten yeah. quarters in the book. Um, but he's he's just playing at a really high level right now. Uh, but I don't think there was one point in the game that, that sort of separated. It was just so even, mm -hmm. uh, like you said, just the yardage difference. But these two teams just battled it out. We saw the run game stop and go with the run game on both sides. Uh, the passing game was the same way. We saw a lot of punts. It was just a true team effort from both sides to hang in it. And obviously our special teams came out on top with that block field goal. Liberty wins 42-41 to 41 here tonight. We caught up with Corbin Jackson, Antonio Gandy-Golden, and Turner Gill after the ball game. Uh, it's just uh, something we practice uh, every time uh, in practice every day, pretty much field goal block. They made, they made the call, and uh, to God be the glory, I was, I was able to get up there and block it with my hand. Uh, the D-line got a great push. It was definitely a team thing, a defensive thing. It's a good team we played tonight, though. That's a, uh, they had some explosive players. We knew coming in, like, this was going to be a good team. So we're just going to try to make the corrections and get ready for next week. Yeah, it was more just trying to fill out what their defense is, you know. Sometimes you can come out and see what they do right away, but then sometimes it takes a little while for them to really open up for you, to, for us to be able to game plan off that. So once we saw that, we, fit, we felt like we could get it rolling. We just wanted to punch it in. We knew we knew this team was good, so we knew we had to try to stay one up on them the whole game. So uh, scoring that touchdown was just part of helping the team. I mean, that's a great, great football game. I I knew this team uh, was really better than what they owe into because their offense was really inconsistent, but they just wasn't putting it all together. And then they did a great job of their play action passes in this ball game. And the quarterback 16 put it on target and we actually stopped the run pretty well, uh, but they made some big plays in the passing game there. So again, um, they're gonna have a, uh, some good success. Our guys played well and I'm just, uh, I'm just glad that the uh, Lord gave us this victory.
I'll just give credit to uh, Scott Downing, our defensive side of the ball there, Coach Wimberly and uh, Coach Singletary. We talked about the uh, block. We work on that doing all preseason. We, we have some critical situations where we do, do, uh, do that, where we have about three or four guys inside and give it a great push. I think we're in pretty good shape. Uh, I see our team has improved. It's great that we've had some situations that we got to uh, get corrected. That's a lot of situations that we've done a great job in. And so it's going to be a very, very tough opponent on the road. Uh, so our guys got to get all ready to play, and uh, we got to play our best football game that we played so far this year. So again, Liberty wins it tonight, 42-41, 3-0 for the first time since 2008. Next week, they go down to Jacksonville State. Little revenge on the mind of the Flames. They won't talk about it this week. <laughs> Only the media will, I guess. But a uh, big-time atmosphere going to be down there at Jacksonville State. But a team like Liberty, a little chip on its shoulder playing well here early on. They definitely are playing well. I think this game is going to re-energize the team into this week. They're going to come in tomorrow, get the work done, evaluate the film. The coaches are probably already tearing it up right now, <laughs> seeing the good, the bad, the ugly that was tonight because there was a little bit of all, yeah. all three. Yeah. Uh, and so they're going to go into next week. You know, you got a great running back in Rock Thomas, plays for the – place with the Gamecocks and it's it's going to be a tough battle next week and we saw that what they did coming into Williams City and probably one of the best teams I've ever seen on a football field in that Jacksonville State team uh, I'm excited for what our team can do against them because I think this is probably one of the best Liberty teams you know obviously we're 3-0 for since the first time and since 2008 but this team just is focused in on everything since the Baylor game these guys are, are, are right mentally focused yes, every are. single time they set on the field I'm really excited to see that matchup next week we are too as well Matt appreciate the time and yeah. uh, can't wait for next week again Liberty 3 and O Jacksonville State one and one kickoff seven o'clock Eastern our pregame radio coverage coming your way at 5 30 next Saturday from Jacksonville State from Matt Kamara and Alan York for Liberty Flame Sports Network